AI2, the revolutionary new album from Paradise Decay, is available now on Bandcamp. But why not purchase the album on a limited edition USB drive? Contact Paradise Decay on X or alternatively leave a message in the comments if you're interested. Do it! Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. There's a brand new game just been released on Steam, it's called Rip Out. It's a first person shooter and today I'm going to be playing the game in 3D in my Quest 3. There's going to be no commentary throughout the gameplay, it was late at night, all my family was in bed. And in this video you're going to see my settings for the game and you're also going to see my settings for the 3D. If you're a regular user of Reshade you're going to know what these settings mean. Now, for those of you who like to watch these videos in 3D, sadly, I had lots of performance issues during my gameplay. So as soon as I leave the ship to start a mission, there's no more 3D. I do show a bit of 3D at the beginning if you want to check it out. All you need is a browser that supports side-by-side -side stereoscopic viewing or a program like Virtual Desktop. That's going to allow you to see the video the sections with the left and right images in 3D. I still get quite a lot of criticism from the VR community as to why I'm making these videos. Some people claim it's not a true VR experience and I should not be showing these videos on my channel. I 100% disagree. I want to play AAA quality style games in VR. And the only way we can do that is by using programs like Reshade, SuperDet 3D and Vorpex. And if I get more enjoyment out of a flat game in 3D than a normal VR game, I'm going to opt for the 3D experience every time. Don't get me wrong, I love VR when it's done right. I've been having a blast in mixed reality on the Quest 3. It's a fantastic headset. And it also makes these 3D experiences even better because of the clarity and the quality of the screens. You can definitely see a resolution bump as well. I'm going to show you the uh, 3D depth. I'm also going to physically show you the 3D working. So when you see the white screen with all the black images, that's telling me 3D is working. The darker the image, the closer the objects are to your eye. And the lighter the image, the further away in the distance they are. For those of you with a Quest 3 new to Reshade, basically I'm converting a flat Steam game into 3D that I can play in my headset. So on my Quest 3, when I'm in the game, that world is 3D, just like a normal VR game, and the screen wraps around my head to about where my ears are. It's like going to an IMAX theater, bending the screen a little bit, and playing the game in 3D on a giant screen. With programs like Virtual Desktop I can move the screen closer or further away. If I move it closer I'm 100% inside the game. Another reason for me to showcase these games is I want the developers to watch these videos and I want these developers to realize their games work perfectly in 3D and it wouldn't be too hard to implement a VR mode. They've got nothing to lose and the VR community is crying out for VR games. It's a win-win situation. The developers are going to get extra money from the VR users who are going to lap up their games. And thanks to my videos and some of my fellow VR content creators who make the same type of videos, we now have two new official VR games coming because of these videos. And these games would never have seen the light of day in a VR headset had we not shown the developers what's possible. For all the critics, these videos are helping to shape the VR future with brand new games. Also, I don't know if you realise this, but games that I play in Reshade can
can be played with the brand new Universal Unreal mod that's coming soon. And that's the mod that everyone's raving about. What I'm showing you right now is basically the same thing that you're going to be doing when this new Universal Unreal mod arrives. For any developers out there scratching the head about converting their games into VR, you've already designed the game in a 3D engine. Your objects and meshes are in 3D. All you need to implement is hand control to be able to control the weapons. I've gone into your world in this video in 3D and it works perfectly. The 3D depth's perfect, the scope and the scale is perfect and the atmosphere is through the roof. Once you've been immersed in the world in 3D and you feel like you're there for real, nothing can compare. So you might have the best pancake game in the world, but it's still going to lack the atmosphere you get playing games in VR and in 3D. In today's video I do play with a mouse and keyboard, I've not bothered with Open Track. Open Track is a program that emulates your head moving in the game. I've featured this before, I just wanted to jump in last night and have some fun. Again, this is a perfect game to be converted into VR. It's a very similar mechanic to Deep Rock, and Deep Rock has a VR mod. Like I said, at the start of the video, you can watch the video for about 2 minutes in 3D. The rest of the video I've recorded in my Quest 3. What you can see on screen right now is what I can see in the headset, minus the 3D. Enjoy the rest of the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. I'll see you in the next one.
if you're into vr gaming go and subscribe to paradise decay he's been like he's the ogs of vr gaming okay As I was walking from the, the the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Doctor Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around, and I went up to approach him. <laughs> and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something, <laughs> but I actually just went, in, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. You tried to salvage it, <laughs> Nathy. Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Three at the ready. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. That that roast. Roast. Hello. <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to um, there, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Chits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. Yeah, I gotta say, <laughs> he's really. His eyes have been no, fixed. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Whoa! Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's oh, track. Bully. PD, I saw. I was dead. You were running around for me like Steve. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, sorry, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. <laughs> sorry, for that. Jack. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? What's going yeah, on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally throwing. What a blissful life to be. <laughs> Thank you for seeing <laughs>